Hey everyone, what is going on? So I have a very exciting showcase for you today. We're taking a look at the Remix Cup and a multiple time legend. We could tell from last season's pose, we could tell that they're legend this season, we could tell from the jacket, right? So they have hit legend multiple times and they are currently using a Deoxys with two baby fire types. Now when I say baby fire types, I don't mean actual baby Pokemon like Magby. I mean Pokemon that are unevolved, right? So Lit Leo, which we have seen Arrow use with success, I think during the Holiday Cup. I think it was the Holiday Cup he hit Legend with Lit Leo. But we're also looking at Fletchender. So very interesting team and I'm really excited. Double fire with Deoxys in the lead. So how is this team going to play out? I have no idea. I don't know how he does. I have no idea how he does, but it looks like a fun team. And those two Pokemon are definitely excelled. So I don't have the resources to invest in it. So even if I love the team and I want to use it, I won't be using it anytime soon because I don't have the resources uh, to invest in that. I think, yeah, you, you need quite a bit of XL candies and I just don't have them. Well, you know what? I guess for the Fletchling I do because of the Community Day. But I don't for Lit Leo, that's for sure. So uh, anyway, yeah, well, let me know what you think of this team and we'll see how it plays out. Going up against Breezy. Okay, so this is going to be a very exciting game. Thank you so much for sharing these battles with us. Deoxys into a beautiful, shiny Mew. Okay, so not really a good matchup because that Mew does have Shadow Claw, but it looks like he's currently staying in. Uh, so going straight Rock Slide. And that Rock Slide will do a good amount of damage. Switching into Fletchender. So Fletchender does have Fire Spin, Aerial Ace, and Flame Charge. So very similar moveset to Talonflame, but obviously it doesn't get the community, the community Day move of Incinerate. Plus it doesn't have Brave Bird. But going straight Aerial Ace into this Politoed right now. Um, I actually did more than I thought to be honest, but that's awesome. So gonna go ahead and be hit with this Weather Ball. And that does a lot of damage. But the good thing is Politoed cannot farm down, so it will have to throw another attack. And it looks like it overfarmed, throwing an attack right now. This will KO the Fletchender. So Weather Ball coming out. There we go. And now in comes the Deoxys. Deoxys is going to be hit with this attack. And this is going to probably be Weather Ball. Yep, makes sense. Weather Ball. So this De this is definitely a tough game. Deoxys is going to go ahead and go for the Psycho Boost into the Politoed, hoping to KO it. Able to KO it. The opponent still has two shields. Out comes that Mew. Litly with Fire Fang absolutely chunk it away. But it will invest the last shield. So going down two shields, which is not good. Show me an Obama Snow in the back, right? <laughs> you need you need something uh, to be able to come out of this one. So going to be hit with a Surf. It does do a lot, but it doesn't KO. Unfortunately, it's a Deoxys. Yeah, so that's not going to be... Uh, you're not going to be able to win that, unfortunately. But still, nice game. Um, looks like that was part of a previous set. Okay, so going 2-3. We only had one game that battle. But now we're jumping into a new set. So, um... Okay, I mean, yeah, that's that's not bad. I mean, 2-3 is certainly not bad. So going to go ahead and move into this game. See how this game plays out. So it is Deoxys into what? Into Deoxys. Okay, so a mirror team. Obviously, you don't want to be hit with Rock Slide uh, with your back Pokemon. So probably just going to stay in. And yeah, just go Rock Slides most likely. I mean, that's really what you have to do. So able to sneak a counter in though, which is very nice. So going to be hit with this attack. Going to be a Rock Slide. And uh, this Deox is just charging up for two Rock Slides and going for them. So going for the first one right now. And uh, we'll see no shield from the opponent. And continuing to charge up, going for another one. Again, not going to be uh, any shields most likely. But this Deox should win this matchup because they're definitely ahead on counters. So we do see a counter come, or, or not a counter, but we see an attack coming through. It's going to be a Rock Slide, but not enough to KO. And this Deoxys is going to go ahead and go for the Psycho Boost. Okay, so Psycho Boost at that health will be enough to KO it. So no shield, and we might see a switch. Oh, Victor Bell, in comes this Lit Leo. Okay, out comes Vigoroth, which is not good for the Lit Leo. But there's that Victor Bell in the back, which Flesh... Fletchender does double resist, so just going to save the shield, not even going to shield, going to go straight crunch. Fletchender also is resisting counter, so Fletchender should be able to pick up this game, right? So able, okay, it does get knocked out, but in comes Deoxys, yeah, Deoxys just going to chip away with counter. You probably let this go, you could shield it, you probably let it go. Yeah, just going to let it go and pick up the game with Fletchender, for sure. There's no way this Fletchender loses, right? I mean, shield the body slams... And the counters are not doing much because they're resisted. Razor Leaf is double resisted, as I said. So it looks like, uh, yep, going Flame Charge. Now, going Flame Charge makes sense because even if the Vigoroth shields, they're getting an attack boost. So that's basically why you're using the Flame Charge. And now this uh, 
yeah, I would have loved to see Fletcher to roast that Victor Bell, but the opponent does leave. So, oh, nice play. Nice game. Nice game. Okay, let's go ahead and move into the next one. Oh, I think I battled this trainer. Did I battle this trainer today? Maybe it was someone else. I don't know. But either way, Deoxys into Bashudan, amazing matchup. Definitely want to see it in the lead. They do switch into Metacham. Out comes this Fletchinder doing neutral damage. Um, okay, going to be hit with an attack. This could be an Ice Punch, which is neutral. So it is going to be Ice Punch. Doing a decent amount. Wow, Fletchinder actually able to take some of these moves. So going to go for Aerial Ace. Um, okay, we'll see if the opponent wants to shield. They do shield it up. And I've never battled a Fletch and Death, so I wouldn't know the move set. Well, I do now because I'm shoutcasting it. But I would probably assume it has similar moves to Talonflame. Uh, so gonna go ahead and charge up extra energy, go in for the Aerial Ace. I believe this should be enough to KO. It is super effective. Uh, so both trainers definitely have to go for Switch. Switch is very important, so you have to shield this. Uh, yeah, because ba uh, Deoxys has to be lined up against Bastiodon, right? So we're going to go ahead and shield and go for the Aerial Ace. And Aerial Ace will be enough to KO the Metacham. Fletchinder KOing one of the top picks of Great League, right? Or Remix Cup. So Bastiodon farms down. Deoxys comes in. Out comes Sableye. In comes Litleo. So Litleo is definitely doing a lot of damage with those Fire Spin attack. No, not Fire Spins. Fire Fang attacks. So we're going to see a foul play. Uh, Litleo can take it though. Gonna go ahead and go for the crunch. Okay, makes sense. This might be enough to KO. Um, it is not enough to KO, but the Fire Fangs will be able to get it. No, an attack coming in from Sableye. This will knock out, but the Oxus only needs one counter to KO the Sableye anyway, so able to KO it. And now this is just a good game. You just honestly, I mean, you have an attack. Yeah, you're gonna go ahead and use the attacks eventually, but you don't want to debuff yourself with Psycho Boost. You uh, because you want to continue doing a lot of damage with counters. Actually, this is a pretty close game. Because if Bastiodon gets to another move, it KOs the Deoxys. So, hold up. I thought this game was over, but this is actually a very close game. Uh, they have two Psycho Boosts, so they're going to be able to go for them. So, yeah, it's still going to be a good game, but it was actually closer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so, able to get those two Psycho Boosts off, and this will KO the Bastiodon. But that was a great game, nonetheless. Really well played. Really well played. I can imagine this team um, having a difficult time if the Victor Bell is in the lead and Bastiodon is in the back. But um, I guess we'll have to see. I guess we'll have to see. I mean, you could always lure out the Bastiodon with one of the fire types, I guess. But I guess that's what you would have to do. Probably with the Litleo or something. But uh, yeah, okay. So great games. Well played so far. So let's go ahead and see how the next game goes. But we do have to, uh, or he does have to find an opponent. So here we go. Finding uh, an opponent with the Pikachu outfit. Awesome. So, okay. So Deoxys into Deoxys. Okay. So another mirror match. Probably just going to play it the same way. Stay in. Go for Rock Slides. Uh, Deoxys is a really common Pokemon in the Remix Cup. It's common in the Great League as well. But I don't see it as much as I used to in the past. In previous seasons, but it's still it's still common. Uh, in comes Lickitung. Very interesting switch coming in from the opponent, just because Lickitung is weak to counter. However, it is doing super effective damage with Lick, so that switch actually makes sense. But in comes Litleo. Now Litleo is not only a fire type; it's a normal type, so it's going to be double resisting those licks. So that is huge for the Litleo, and definitely a great switch. Going to go ahead and take another Body Slam, most likely. You're not gonna, they're not gonna be able to lick down, so gonna be able to take this body slam, and yeah, you likely just go for fire, uh, not fire charge, flame charge, and uh, I think this is probably enough. I don't know, Lickitung is really bulky. It is enough, okay, yeah. So getting a boost, so gonna be doing more damage with Fire Fang, uh, which is really nice. So let's see what comes in, gonna be that Deoxys. Okay, so Deoxys will farm down, can't get to a crunch, really unfortunate, but in comes their own Deoxys, going for the rock slide. And this rock slide is going to not land. Okay, so that's okay. Uh, do you shield this? I guess we'll find out. Yep, gonna go ahead and shield that thunderbolt. Makes sense. And trying to get to another rock slide desperately. Able to get to one. Able to get it off. Very nice. Deoxys doesn't necessarily have to win this matchup. It just has to get that. Yeah, that opposing Deoxys pretty low. So we might not see a shield here. Probably not. Yeah, saving the shield for Fletchinder. That actually doesn't even KO. So, uh, in comes Alolan Ninetales. Oh my god, that has charm as well. That's amazing. Fire types... Yeah, here's the thing. 
Fight, they banned the two best fire types in the Remix Cup, right? They banned Alolan Marowak, and they banned Talonflame. So there's other options. Obviously, these two. If you don't have these, there's Sunny Cast Form, which I know Kevin uses a lot on stream if you watch his streams. Uh, there's also, what else is there? Fire Fang Mawile. It's not a fire type, but it has a fire move. And obviously, these two Pokemon. So having double fire, people like feel confident bringing like multiple grass types and multiple things weak to fire because they just don't expect it. Abomasil loses to this entire team. It's actually not switching out. It's going to switch out now. And in comes Jellicent. Okay. Well, let's see. Shadow Ball is resisted, right? Double resisted. So if they have Bubble Beam, they're going to go for it. If they have Ice Beam, they it's resisted. So, okay, they have Bubble Beam. A little bit unfortunate for the Lit Leo, but that's okay. Going to go ahead and go for the Crunch. And this Crunch is going to not connect. They called it. I guess they knew it had Crunch. Okay. Again, I mean, you again, you don't have to win this matchup, right? Because your whole team beats a Bomber Snow, so you don't have to line up the Oxes against the Bomber Snow because you have Fletch Fletchinda against it, which is honestly a better matchup <laughs> because uh, double super effective damage. So you could lose this matchup, and honestly, the Lit Leo will lose it uh, because it's going to go ahead and go for Crunch, but it's debuffed. It's not going to be enough to KO. Uh, we actually see the double shield, the opponent really wanting to win switch. They're still not going to be able to farm down. They have to throw an attack. No, they switch in and farm down with Medicham. Okay, nice switch by the opponent. Uh, so what do you bring in, honestly? Yeah, the Deo yeah, Deoxys. That makes sense. Uh, so, yeah, Deoxys doesn't really want to go for Rock Slide because it's resisted. But the thing is, you get debuffed if you go for Psycho Boost. You probably still go for Psycho Boost, though, right? Yeah, this... Oh, no. Okay, going for Rock Slide, not wanting to get debuffed buffed right away okay i respect that um yeah it's resisted but still that's fine maybe going to go for psycho boost now yeah looks like they're going to go for double psycho boost now i would just save my shields for fletchender i think yeah psychic is resisted that's totally fine uh going for the psycho boost now two psycho boosts should be enough right yeah even after the debuff the other one should be enough to ko it uh, it is neutral so this should be enough to ko it is so just gonna switch in right now and yeah, they do bring in their uh, Jellicent. Now, obviously, this is not great. They're going to be able to debuff the Fletchender, uh, which is not great. They're going to debuff it again. But, I mean, Fletchender is still double super effective towards that uh, Bomber Snow. We'll have to see how this plays out. Another one. Wow, that Jellicent had a lot of energy. Unfortunately, they switched out of it. But uh, another Bubble Beam. Gonna okay, so they do go ahead and bring in this Obama Snow. So gonna go ahead and shield the Weather Ball. You have to and go for the Flame Charge. Or yeah, going for the Flame Charge to boost the attack because it was debuffed. So gonna go ahead and boost, and that still KOs because uh, obviously Fletchinda is double super effective. Able to catch the Bubble Beam. What an amazing swap coming in. However, okay, so they catch the Bubble Beam. Can this? Uh, they might be able to farm down. No. Able to get to the Psycho Boost. Okay, I thought the Jellicent would have been able to fund down, but the Deoxys can get to it and KO that Jellicent. Amazing gameplay. Absolutely beautiful. But that's another good thing. I mean, if you if you see an Obama Snow, your whole team defeats it, right? So you don't have to worry about uh, losing anything. <laughs> a, a, a winning switch, I should. You don't have to worry about winning switch, right? Because your whole team is good against it. Uh, so... That was some great gameplay. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, this guy, sorry I didn't mention it in the beginning of the stream, but he does stream on Twitch. So I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to go ahead and follow him. I totally recommend doing it, but I'm actually going to do it myself because he obviously plays fantastic. Uh, so, okay. So currently 4-0 going into the final set. Switching out immediately into the Fletchender. They're going to go ahead and pull the switch into the Oxus. Okay. Um, both Thunderbolt and Rock Slide are super effective, and you know they have one of them. So whichever they have, they'll go for it, which is a little bit scary, but honestly, that Flame Charge actually does a good amount of damage. Holy cow. Okay, so gonna go ahead and get hit. Will it decide to shield, though? It will shield, yeah. It will shield the Thunderbolt. Nice shield. And gonna go ahead and go for another Flame Charge. Now, the Flame Charge makes sense, because it is gonna buff Fletchinder's attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a shield, and... This is probably Psycho Boost. Gonna go ahead and shield and maybe farm down. It is Psycho Boost. I think they could farm down. One, two, three, four. Yeah, able to farm down the Deoxys before it got to another. Oh, in comes that Nine Tail. It's gonna be hit with Aerial Ace. Okay. Um, okay, let's go ahead and likely gonna get a shield, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely gonna get a shield. And we do see a switch into Mew, but that Fletching did put a chunk in Mew. Gonna go ahead and bring out this Deoxys. 
I mean, obviously it doesn't want to be hit with Surf if they brought in the Lit Leo. Uh, gonna go ahead and go for that Flame Charge, and this Rock Slide is coming out. Uh, yeah, Lit Leo is gonna be able to beat that Nine Tails in the back. That's why the Deoxys came out. So this obviously makes a lot of sense. Even if Mew wins this matchup, you could farm down with Lit Leo. Because they have Flame Charge, they likely don't have Surf. Gonna go ahead and switch and farm down with Fire Fang. And now you just uh, Fire Fang down, honestly. Or get to an attack if you can. If this is Weather Ball, it's resisted. If it's Psy Shock, it's not gonna KO. It is Psy Shock, it does not KO. Uh, gonna be able to just farm down, and that's gonna be a great video. 5 0. Uh, so I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good day. Bye.